Hello everybody, I'm here with my friend Emily today. Hi. We're doing a denim jacket tour. This was your Emily's idea, this was my by idea. the way. I messaged it to her over Instagram and I was like, I want to be on your YouTube channel. Mm. <laughs> We're gonna show our patches off. Yeah, because we both have like denim jackets with a lot of patches on them. She has like way more, obviously. Yeah. And she's the one who like got me into patches and like literally denim jackets. Like I did, I bought this denim jacket because she bought me patches and I didn't have anywhere to put them. Oh god. <laughs> so I did that. <laughs> that's literally all Emily, basically. So yeah, we're basically just gonna go through each patch and pin that's on our jacket and like talk about it and talk about where we got it, why we got it, what it means to us, like why we like it, I don't know. Basically a non-committal tattoo tour. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I feel like this is a tattoo tour, but like didn't. Actually, I'll start with the jacket, where we got the jacket Oh, true. From. That's a great so, idea. So I got it from Value Village um, in early 2016. It's a Levi's, like men's jacket. I've never seen another one like this at a thrift store. This is my jacket here. I got this from the black market in Toronto, but it's basically just like a vintage shop where everything's $10, which is like amazing. The brand is RC Sports. I've never heard of that before. Legend. It's like a little bit of a darker wash yeah, more than yours. Good. And it's like oversized, obviously, which I really like the fit of. I kind of got into patches. I don't even know how I did. I just started. And I started, I got these two large ones on my sleeve. So I did these at the same time. I got this one that's just like, it's a Hawkins AV Club circular one. And it's obviously from like Stranger Things or whatever. And then I got like an equally sized one on the other side that says Hoth National Park. And it's like a Star Wars reference. And those are both from Midnight Society, which I don't even know if they sell patches anymore, but like mm. whatever. So I think I, I did like a really similar thing to Emily where I started like with the patches on the arms. I feel like that's just like a natural. Yeah. Starting point, Emily got me three patches and that's the reason I got this jacket in the first place. The first one is this chupacabra <laughs> patch, which is cute because I think you had, yeah, you have a Sasquatch one. And Ariana has the, the UFO one. Yeah, Ariana has, my sister Ariana has a UFO one, so she kind of got us all like matching, yeah. matching like fictional um, creatures. Beasts. <laughs> beasts. Exactly. And I really like the colors of this one. I feel like I try to like pick patches that are similar colors. Oh my gosh, me too. Yeah, <laughs> like a similar theme. Sleeve. Exactly. And then the second one is this little Grand Budapest Hotel one that Emily got me. I like this one because it's like subtle. Like yeah. you probably wouldn't think of it mm -hmm. unless like you really knew. Just the little hotel. And then the last one is the Fantastic Mr. Mr. Fox one, which I had never seen the movie when Emily gave it to me. So I literally- I assume she goes to film school. I assume she'd seen all of Wes Anderson's works. I don't know. I, I literally like didn't put this on my jacket for like probably a year. Yeah. I was like, okay, I have to watch the movie for a second. <laughs> Walk around being a poser, being like, uh-huh. And someone's gonna be like, like, oh my Fox. God, I love that movie. And you're like, mm. Well, one night we watched it all and then I could officially put this on my jacket. <laughs> I'll do this whole sleeve. There's a lot. So I have this little spaceman and he's like a, I forget what astronaut it is. It's a specific guy, it's a British guy, but mm -hmm. it's super cute. And I just, I saw it and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I love. And then this little bat, he's cool. I like him. I got this uh, sloth astronaut. I don't know why I like thought Neil Armstrong looked like a sloth <laughs> and that was the joke but I don't think that's the joke. And then I was like, oh, this is my space sleeve. That was the theme. It's not really working okay. like that, but it has a few has space themes. It has space elements. So then if we go down here, I have this, um, I think I just got this from Amazon, like straight up my parents got it for me. It's the like rebel symbol from Star Wars. That was cute. Across the back here, I have this little scissors and like string. And this is a girl guide badge actually that I just kind of like ripped off. I know Alicia did that too. On a yeah, few. life hack. If you <laughs> don't have any patches or like you want to add some more, like if you went to girl guides, I'm sure you have tons of patches. Just around. pull them off. <laughs> and some of them are actually really cute. Oh, they're so cute. And then I got this, these like sad crying balloons that says nothing like so it's like really just, I vibe with that. <laughs> and then we come down here, I got another girl guide one. This was one of the first things I ever got. I actually got this in brownies, I think. And it was from my first camp that I went to when I was like seven years old. And then across to here, uh, this is like one of my favorites. It's, uh, this is Time Traveler. It's from, I think it's pronounced Mokoyobi. I really like the colors, it's cute, it's a vibe. And then I have no idea where this one came from. I don't know what the brand is, but it's like this little sword. And I kind of wanted to like put it down here. So when I like fold up the sleeve of my jacket, it like kind of looks like the sword is like tucked into your sleeve it's super cute yeah that's that sleeve <laughs> okay so we already talked about my left arm and like for some reason this arm has a fox theme going yes i'm just like 
oh, why, like I have two fox patches. I don't know how that happened, <laughs> but the only other patch that's on this arm is this one that I also got from Girl Guides. It just says the boulder challenge wall and it's just like this cute little fox climbing a rock wall. And it's funny cause like this has been on my jacket for like quite a long time. Yeah. And people used to ask me like, oh, so like, are you into rock climbing and like bouldering? And I'm like, oh no, like <laughs> I just thought it was cute. But you kind of are now, which but is funny. <laughs> that's the funny part. I just realized I'm actually started rock climbing. So now it's like actually, um, I'm not a poser anymore. My like, favorite hates art. <laughs> both these patches like, they made, made me do things somehow. <laughs> yeah, they influenced your, uh, your life. They have influenced my life. This is like kind of like this yellow and brown themed arm this happened. Mm. This is the matching cryptozoology. This is my Sasquatch one. I have a Teddy Fresh pad, which is just a little bear. These ones are great. They have like such a nice like thick edging on them. They're so like just high quality. And then this is another girl guide one. This is like these little hands that I don't really know. I don't know what this badge is for. Like I don't know what this is. It's but true. It's so like a uh, cryptic. It's it's hands. It is very aesthetic. And then this is like um, these little poppies that I got. These were kind of like a space filler one where I bought it. I didn't really know where I was gonna put it, but I knew I was gonna like try to fill up the areas with it. And then my parents got me like a bunch of Harry Potter patches for Christmas. And I got this Death Eater one that if you know Harry Potter, the Death Eaters have them on their arm like that in the movie. So I was like, oh, put it on that spot cool. on the sleeve. It'll be cute. That's it, it's a left sleeve. Your jacket looks good, even though it's so busy. It's like, <laughs> ha it has thought. Oh, it has you. thought and like themes. It's not just like you slap them all on. You like yeah. really put thought into it. Okay, so my back is pretty simple. It used to be empty until recently, if you haven't seen that video I made where I did a thrift flip and I made this one. DIY! Yeah, it used to be a neck deep shirt, which is a band if you don't know. I think it looks cooler. I like, like it. Back here anyway. I love this art style too. Yeah. I think it looks so cool. Oh, I got like crazy shit going on back <laughs> here, man. Oh boy. Everything except for this dog is all from Stay Home Club. I kind of just realized that. So I have this like big old orange cat with with four eyes. We got a, a multiple eyed animal theme on the back True. here going. With. It's fl floofy. And then I got these two little, I don't know what plants those are. It's sad, but they're they're green plants. Little leafy guys there, just kind of like a nice framing. I got this dog. These dogs sniff each other's butts. That's kinda. one of my favorite ones it's ever. So cute. They're literally so cute. I know, I love them. And then I have this patch that we got like literally 10 years ago, probably from like Walmart that I found in my house. And it looks like our family dog. He looked, looked like that. And I was like, oh my God, it's perfect. And he's like the right size. I just put him in the middle. And he's like the center of the dog That's sniffing so butt circle. So I got this strawberry that is also like floofy. And one back here, I also have like mm. this, I got another girl guide one too, that's from camp. And it's like this log cabin with this like leopard black, cat creature in the cabin. <laughs> um, and I got it at, at camp, a Girl Guide camp like probably 10 years ago. This is what the left side looks like. The first one I have, I got from Girl Guides. It's just a little compass that I thought was really cute. This is so dumb, but like I put it above like where your heart is because it's supposed to be like- You're cheesy! <laughs> like the compass is like on your heart, like leading your heart. Then the next one you gave me. Yeah, right? okay. It's literally just like Monet's. Wow, I'm gonna sound like such a- that I'm impressed you got that far, actually. Oh, yeah. like, really... Girl, I studied art in high school. This is one of Monet's lilies. I think it's water lilies. Water lilies. I think, painting. but he I don't even know. He has multiple, I'm pretty sure. He likes flowers and water. I thought this looked really cute right on the pocket here. A girl who worked at Starbucks complimented it. Dude, of course she did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, are you surprised? And then for pins, I don't have that many pins, but I kind of keep them. I do. <laughs> we'll get there. Just wait. <laughs> but all my pins are kind of like near the collar front area. Yeah, that's a good look. And this one I thought was like so cute and fits so perfectly in this little corner of the collar. Also a Girl Guides one. And like, I don't know, kind of classy. It is classy. It's, like, gold and like blue matches the jacket. This is my last side. I got like, you know, crazy, crazy shit going on here. So I got this little, this one that just says animation on it from a sale at school because I'm an animation student. I'm an animation grad. Um, this is another stay home club one and it just says frequent crier program lifetime member and the eagle's crying. You know, I, fe I feel that. So. And then I have this little rose that I just found in this like, I don't know, I had this set. It's for like children. And I was like, oh, it's 
cute. I'm gonna put on my jacket. <laughs> this is my one of my girl guide like troop patches, I guess. Like in girl guides, you're either like a bird or a flower or something. Mm -hmm. So I was a violet one year. I got this little platform nine and three quarters one. I think my parents got that for me for Christmas. This is like a little Snoopy and skateboard. Um, this is my mom's like in the like 80s, I guess. And then I have this little skull that uh, Ariana, her, uh, her sister, got <laughs> for me. Uh, this is like my only um, flat top pins. Uh, my cousin got it for me. It's like a little piece out of a out of a Tintin comic. I, I know what which freaking comic it is too, which I of hate course. myself <laughs> so much. And it's in French. I thought it was really cute. I got this guy at uh, I think it's, it's TCAF in Toronto. It's like a little angry sun with socks on, and I just I really I really related to him. I have this Oswald one that I got from Disney World like literally 15 years ago when I was with my family. This is the other one in the set that Ariana got me for Christmas, and it's like this little hand with a heart. This is like Mickey Mouse at a like an animation table. Like I guess animating himself. <laughs> um, and this is also really old. I think this is from like the 70s or something. It was my dad's. Okay, moving on to the right side, which is pretty bare for me. <laughs> I just have this Teddy Fresh patch and I wanted Teddy Fresh to make patches for so like, long. Day one. Yeah, because they had them like on the hats or whatever. I was like, they should make that into a patch and then they did. So I was like, okay, I have to buy one. I just have this cute little pin that Emily got me and it's from one of the islands in the let me see. U.S. Virgin Islands, but I'm not sure uh, which U.S. Virgin okay. Islands. And it's cute. It's got these little like Finding Nemo clownfish on it. I thought it looked like kind of vintage. It has like, yeah. like the gold uh, striping in it. It's mm -hmm. like a kind of like a more vintagey pin look. That is all of my pins and patches on my whole jacket, basically. I only have two patches on the side. I have this kind of like spacey one, but I got this. Uh, I think it was also at TCAF from a girl who went to my school. And then down here I have my brownies circle patch, which mine was the I was in. Elf. And I really wanted to be in the fairies when I was seven years old. Looking back on it, Elf's pretty sick. Love it. I have just this little eyeball that is a part of that third pack with the uh, skull and the hand. And then this is my brownie. I think it's like the initiation badge or something, or like the pin you get when you become like a full brownie or whatever. He's super cute. It's a little dancing dude. Kind of looks like my elf. And this little Deathly Hollows little Harry Potter moment. I have two cats. I have this little space cat in a little suit. I got this little uh, chunky cat over here and this guy that's the Interplanet Transit Commission, which I thought was like super vintage and cute looking. Got her like a little shop in Toronto. And then I got this little Hogwarts uh, pin that also came with the Death of Hells one. And then up here, my last two, I have this like little Kodak pin. My dad had it, it's super old. And then I have this little Christmas Babar one that is also really old. So cute. And he's like flying with the little presents. And that is it! Yay! That these jackets probably cost us like ten dollars a piece, and the actual value of this jacket right now is like ridiculous. True, I've never thought of that. Like even like, each yeah. pa patches are kind of expensive. I mean, even if each patch is like let's say even five dollars at like forty six patches. It's an investment in like, it's kind of like a hobby almost. Yeah, like, like some like people collection. collect stamps and coins and we collect patches. patches. <laughs> so we kind of have a little, bo some bonus patches here. I have three patches here that some of them I have put on my jacket before and then decided to take them off because I just like didn't like where they were. So basically we have this Jurassic Park patch that Emily obviously gave me because it's my favorite, one of my favorite movies. And then I have this pizza patch. She likes pizza. <laughs> and then I just have this little 70s Ellicottville. Yeah. New York patch. Looking at these, you all have, you have like an all red and orange kind of collection. It's true, there, they kind of match good. each other, but not necessarily jacket. I'm gonna ask Emily now if she could place it anywhere on my jacket where you would put it basically. Oh, man, it is kind of hard. With these, you got a lot of like down straight stuff. I feel like mm -hmm. you should start mm -hmm. start moving some inward. So you get kind of more like a rounded effect instead of like a straight line. Cause if you start going too far straight down, it just kind of starts to like be kind of flat almost. Mm -hmm. So like build it outward on both sides. I remember you saying one time about like putting the pizza in the pocket. And yeah. honestly, I still really like that. And really? I think it's really cute and funny. This guy's like an interesting shape. And it is kind of hard. Yeah, so I think you should like focus on like the sleeves, okay. build them out a bit. That's my thoughts on it. All right, cool. Thank you, Emily, Thank for you. giving me this idea for so <laughs> That was really fun. Yeah. I'm glad we did that. I'm glad too. I need a drink of water now. Like, yeah, it's really talking. fucking dry. I feel like we just gave a presentation at school. Uh. <laughs> okay, anyways. Bye. Bye.